guys, it's me, Luke, and today I'm going to be showing an update video on my purple computer, which you saw on my old channel. Well, I haven't been making videos, and that's because I've been a bit busy with, you know, regular life stuff, school, stuff like that. So, um, nothing really has changed. The only difference, majorly, you could see is because... Well, I have to tell you guys, I threw away the Toshiba satellite because there was no way I could fix it at all. I tried everything and I couldn't. But the good thing is I got the parts out of it. For example, this hard drive. It was a IBM Travel Star. And you could tell it says that. And, like, the, I couldn't get the CD-ROM drive out because it was too hard to get it out. And I kind of replaced the CMOS battery, installed Norton System Utilities 2001, which we had, but I thought it was bad until my dad actually told me it was good. So I installed it on here. And I uninstalled the cr crap that now is TuneUp Utilities because I finally realized how crappy it is. So, and also, just so you know, you can notice a bit of a difference because I'm recording with my iPod instead of my camera because the... You don't even know how many times I had to replace the camera batteries. So, um, I just powered this up like a half an hour ago because it hasn't been turned on in a while. Just had to do, like, you know, the usual set the date and time and stuff like that. So, let's turn it on. Oh, yeah, and you can see the LEDs are still fixed. Oh, yeah, and I'm, used to, I'm using an NEC monitor as the main one for this computer. Oh, and also, since I don't have this thing on the internet right now, I disabled the Ethernet port adapter and the dial-up to make the boot-up time much faster. And let me tell you, it, it boots up in under, under 30 seconds now. Yeah, but it still takes a bit of a time to auto-detect all this stuff. So let's wait. Uh. Oh yeah, and I got the sticker from the Toshiba designed for Microsoft Windows NT and Windows 98, which is actually kind of true, because every operating system other than this I've tried, I've never really worked on here. This is like the only one operating system I've ever had on this computer that's actually worked. Windows 2000 was good, but with that 300 megahertz thing in, that used to be in there, it was so slow. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, I forgot you're seeing lines because I'm recording on a CRT monitor, which is usual. But I don't think the the fr frame rate, refresh rate is that bad. You could still see it. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's because I just in uninstalled TuneUp Utilities. Man, I kind of regret playing this on here because it, it just really never really fixed any. Like, CCleaner always did all this stuff. Oh, and it asked me for a password. Well, I actually don't have a password on here, so let's log in on. Oh, and don't worry, I'm going to do other video game stuff. It's just that this is the thing I can think about right now. Yeah, and the good old Windows 98 startup sound. This computer is actually quite fast. Oh, yeah, and about that zip drive, I could never get that to work. It's like... It'll always mess, I tried, you know, doing IDEs, everything to detect it, and it didn't. And maybe if I ever get another one, I'll do it. Yeah, the, it still has the same programs as it usually does. Oh, and sorry about the frame rate. It just usually, you know, does that. Oh, yeah, and it quit off. Oh, see, Norton Utilities 2001. The, Norton Utilities 2005 is actually the last thing that's compatible with the with Windows 98 so oh yeah and I um I actually found an old thing I haven't looked seen in a while uh NASCAR Legends I used to play this a lot when I was a kid <laughs> oh yeah and I forgot to tell you guys I might be getting an IBM uh laptop that actually has Windows 95 on it which I I haven't had. Oh, and while it's loading, I don't even know what it is. I'm going to show you some things I got recently. I got this Microsoft Side Sidewinder joystick, which actually is makes the 
whole entire gaming experience like much easier. I remember how hard it was controlling on this keypad. I can never get the full angles on Motocross Madness. Now that I have this, oh my god, it made it so much easier. And um, I got this Microsoft mouse from the store, the first store. And really nothing else has really changed about this. I mean, I still use it as a gaming computer. And I still have Mozilla, Firefox, and stuff like that on it. So, um, this computer actually has been pretty dang reliable for me. It's like I really, other than, um, the sit, sit, pulling out, the, the pu usual pulling out the, the storage room after 10 years problems, like the power supply died, the CPU was, um, uh, the, the processor was on its last legs, uh, um, I had to put in a CD-ROM drive, which actually, I think this is the original from what I could see on, in the pictures of what my dad took when we were about to move on this thing. And so, uh, Microsoft Word 2000, I might delete that Windows Update thing because I know Windows Update does not work on here anymore. Dang you, Microsoft. So... And I made a few backup hard drives for this computer, just in case this pretty reliable Western Digital fails, which I don't think it will. See, it says Norton System Doctor, and it does all the stuff, so... Well, um, I might show more videos of this, since I'm getting back into making videos again, so... Let's shut it down, and... And... Um, let's just see it shut down. thing I noticed about, uh, um, oh, hmm, oh yeah, it's some, with plus 98, for some reason, it really always does the floppy fit drive noise when, whenever you're logging it off or shutting it down, uh, but it's usual, Windows is shutting down, And this is the video. Thanks for watching the Nintendo 64 Dude videos. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, but no trolls. Thanks for watching.